Um, this was the original holster I made where you see it being pressed and everything. I could have made this work, you know, I could have made it look good, but I just didn't like it. I, I didn't like, it was just too big. I don't know. I didn't like it. So instead of making this one work, I just used the uh, extra kydex that was given and I redid the holster. But as you can see, I like it a whole lot better. Um, I didn't record pressing this one since I already record pressing that one. But uh, just in case you noticed in the video, the holster seemed a little bit different than it did. It's because I just redid it. I wanted it to look better. What I'm going to be doing though is using this scrap holster now as my test bed. And I wanted to do some... Um, Patterns, techniques, designs, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to be using that. And as you can see, I've got a lot of paint. Like I said, it, it's and I, <laughs> it's Sunday. i got to finish this. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and technically, yes. I know. This is technically done. I holstered it. I had it on my pant and all that. I'm just trying to add a little bit extra before... You know, I send it in. This is, it's not even going to be finished what I show you. Because I plan on coming back where it's real dark, all this white. I was going to um, use my, what carving tools I have. These little carving tools, if you can see them. The little bits. I don't know. Whatever. I've got a couple bits here, long story short, that I plan on later carving and engraving into all this. But I won't have the time, clearly, because it's Sunday. I won't have the time to show you that. But I did want to do just something. So we'll see if it works on this. I'll do it. If it doesn't, I'll do what I can to make this one look good for the, you know, final. And I'll just have to continue it after the course is done. Sorry. You'll never see. You will unfortunately won't see the finished piece. The real finished piece. So the pattern kind of worked, but it didn't work. I keep getting these blotchy spots just because the screen mesh is kind of bouncy and it doesn't really form well, doesn't hold. So in corners and grooves and stuff, you know, weird angles, it blotches. So I'm probably gonna have to acetone this whole thing and I'm thinking hydro dip it later on once I'm done carving it because I wanted to try carving because I wanted to try carving it first then hydro dip it to see 
how the hydro dipping went into all the carving edges and whatnot. And I'm gonna have to rethink this pattern because what I was trying to create was like the pantyhose mesh, you know, like you know what women wear on their legs, you know, pantyhose. I was trying to create that kind of um, texture and it, it just didn't come out. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it as is because it's already almost two here. <laughs> and I still got tests to do. You know how it is. But the holster is, I mean, it's done. It has a backing. I'm about to show you with it um, on. But yeah, that that's kind of what the screen is really good at doing. Little patterns and stuff like that. That would be better use. And here you go. It's on. And this is for the P250, it's for. So it came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. It holds it. It's nice. And the cool thing about it was when I was designing it, as you can see the curvature in the lace, this little notch right here, when it's slide when the firearm's sliding into the holster. I put a little notch right there and I beveled the inside, rounding it off. So that way without having to look, the takedown lever hits that notch, but then slides in. And it looks a lot easier when you just use the weight of the firearm. But I tried doing that and it came out great. So I didn't record the sanding part simply because I did a whole lot of it when I was at work. So I'm just showing you the finished work. If you can see what you can see. But yeah, I finished all the edges, but I angled it so that way it was really easy to guide the... Uh, firearm into the holster. I am at a loss for words today. Jesus. But yeah, so I mean, I, I imagine you can kind of gather I, from all the uh, curves I made. I did a lot of sanding. It's just I didn't record any of it because I was at work. I spent a good four out of my eight hours sanding this whenever there wasn't a customer. <laughs>